Denmark has a new king and in the last hour he's been greeted by tens of thousands of people who gathered in the Danish capital Copenhagen. Here you can see him as he stepped out to greet the crowds from the balcony of Christiansborg Palace. It was just after he was proclaimed by the Prime Minister and, as you can see there, he was joined by his Australian-born wife, Queen Consort Mary. The crown passed to Frederick X when his mother, Queen Margrethe, signed the instrument of abdication after more than 50 years on the throne. Queen Margrethe, who's 83, has now left Christiansborg Castle and is the first Danish monarch to voluntarily renounce the throne in more than 800 years. She said she was stepping aside due to health reasons. Well, our Royal Correspondent Daniela Ralph's in Copenhagen and earlier she talked me through the day's events. Well, there we have it, the new face of the Danish monarchy out on the balcony there of Christiansborg Palace. And as well as the new king and queen, of course, we have to remember that there is also a new heir to the throne. We've seen some pictures there of the young Crown Prince Christian, as he now is, just 18 years old. Uh, he is still at school in his final year at school, expected to go to university next year and into military training. But he takes on a significant role in public life now here in Denmark. But this is the new face of the Danish monarchy. And I have to say, you're know, looking at King Frederick and Queen Mary there. They both seem quite taken aback by the size of the crowd and the response to them here in Denmark. We saw the king wiping away a tear from his eyes as uh, he first came out on that balcony for the proclamation and saw the number of people, the response to him, the number of Danish flags being waved as the royal couple take it in, this moment in history, as this king and queen, both in their 50s, become the new face of the royal family here in Denmark. And they take on a very popular legacy from Queen Margrethe. Polling for uh, the Danish royalty here is consistently at around 80%. And they are very popular figures in public life. And the final moments we are now watching as the king from the balcony of the Christiansborg Palace says a final wave to the crowd as he takes in the sight below him and starts the first day of his reign as King Frederick the Tenth of Denmark. And in his speak, speech to the people from the balcony a little earlier, he talked about his hopes of becoming a unifying king of tomorrow, of Honouring his mother, she will always be remembered as an extraordinary queen, he said. And it is hoped that he becomes a unifying king for the whole of Denmark and maintains the popularity and relevance of the monarchy here for the Danish people. Some happy news there for a change.